it's time to jump into some DCS with the Huey Helicopter DLC with the HOTAS Rhino X55 joystick. But crucially, we've taken the spring out of it, which makes the helicopter so much easier to fly. Uh, we're going to pop the headset on. I'll just look around. I actually feel like I'm in the air again. Unbelievable. As we take control, I'm going to lift the... Uh, there's a little bit of plastic on the X55 that normally the spring pushes against, which acts as centering spring. Of course, if you do take the spring out of it, you lose the centering spring. But where we're going, we don't need a centering spring. And I've been playing with the X55 now in Elite Dangerous and some other games without the centering spring. And it's just so much more precise. It's, it's silky and buttery smooth. And I think that's really what you need when flying helicopters. Or if you're the type of person that just wants to do really precision flying. <laughs> The physics on this Huey, you really can't appreciate them with when, you, when you're playing it with um, a, a sort of stiff joystick or joystick more configured for you know, aeroplanes or, or uh, you know, combat planes like the Warthog jet planes and stuff. It's, it's just, you can't appreciate it. You need a really loose joystick or probably ideally a force feedback joystick. The X55 without like the spring is absolutely fantastic with this. Now the yaw is still a bit of a pain to do if you're using the joystick for that because the yaw's really stiff. But everything else is so seamless and precise. You can just position the helicopter exactly where you want and then you can really feel and appreciate the physics of the vehicle. And the physics in DCS are phenomenal. You can, as you turn into the corner with a bit of speed and the way it scrubs that speed off and you hear the rotors cutting into the wind i have to say this is one of my favorite simulator experiences to have at this point in time outside of driving simulators it's just a shame that dcs doesn't have more sort of casual civilians or score based missions i don't know f fly the helicopter through some hoops or something or pick people up do rescue missions and it's a shame that dcs doesn't have a little bit more detail with the environments because as it is there's trees that you can fly through that have collision on you can fly into the buildings and crash into them and fly between them but it, you know it'd be really nice to have sort of take on helicopter details so that you could have a have a winch man uh, drop people off and just do proper helicopter missions but it's so good without a spring in the x55 i'm going to try and fly through all three of these bridges without crashing Actually, first of all, let's land on a rooftop. It's so good when you come in hot with the helicopter and you scrub off speed by doing a turn, which probably puts a ridiculous amount of strain on the helicopter. I'm surprised it can take it. Maybe it's the kind of thing that's not particularly advisable in real life. It probably would only do it under fire. Let's, let's land on this rooftop over here. Now, I've, I've only been flying this for about 30, 40 minutes and just discovered it with the X-55. How fantastic it feels. Whoops. Oh, I think we hit that hard enough to actually set the building on fire. Not a smooth landing, but I guess you get the idea roughly. Let's fly through some of these bridges. I think I've got damage turned off because that probably would have uh, smashed my legs through the bottom of the helicopter. We're not going to make that. Let's do the next bridge afterwards. But, oh, it's so good. Oh, you really do have to concentrate, though, because even though when you're flying close to the ground, there's a bit of ground effect that acts as a, a nice cushion. Oh, dear. Okay, we, we didn't make that. <laughs> the collision, definitely forgiving. Uh, yeah, the ground effect acts as a nice cushion, uh, which kind of gets in the way when you're trying to actually put the helicopter on the floor. But if you're flying forwards with some momentum or just skimming the ground, it sort of acts as a little bit of a safety. But it's just so much fun. And of course, with the Oculus Rift DK2, you get to see everything in 3D and you really get a good appreciation as to how far away things are from you. And the ability to look around, if you, if you haven't got track IR at least, then I'd, I'd, I probably wouldn't bother with a helicopter because you really do need to have the freedom of being able to look around. Look at the floor whizzing underneath me. Let's fly in between some of these buildings. But you really don't see that many people playing DCS, and, and I guess it is because it is a really hardcore simulator. But the the basic flight dynamics, once you get the hang of, or, or once you've got a joystick which doesn't have a centering spring, the flight dynamics are actually fairly intuitive, and it just makes sense. 
as you would expect with a simulator. It's like with a good driving simulator, it's hard to drive really fast and you know push things to the limit. But for the most part, when it's a good simulator, if you're the kind of person that generally grasps how things should move in the real world, they normally f work fairly intuitively. And this is exactly how this feels. Like I say, I've only been in this half an hour. Granted, I've just flown into a bridge and probably killed myself three times. But it felt completely my fault. And it, I just feel completely in control of this vehicle. And I'm sure with a you know a couple of hours more practice, be able to dr fly more subtly, a bit, but be a little bit more gentle on the on the stick. But it's so nice. I mean, I, I have a little bit of a fetish for helicopters. I love the way they just cut through the air, the, the way they move around the angles, the way you sort of cushioned on on a pocket of air. Just the movement of them. I, I really enjoy that. This is a bad idea. Very bad idea. Very bad idea. Oh, we made it! Fantastic. But if you haven't yet, I mean, I guess unless you're a bit of a helicopter fanatic or a sim fanatic, then it's probably not worth picking this up. <laughs> Must have hit into something there because we're getting the orange glow of death again. Uh, if you're not a fanatic, then it's probably not worth picking this up because it is quite expensive. But uh, if you just want to try something different and you do like, if you like helicopters and flight sims, then you really have to pick this up. And if you're looking for something that's just fantastic to fly with the DK2, then this is it as we totally... <laughs> helicopter screaming that we've done something wrong, probably losing attitude too fast, probably having the rotors rotate too slow. Oh, there we go. That's, that's dead. Let's try and do a nice smooth landing. I think that's five times we've killed ourselves. Oh, let's fly next to this guy. I think he's in some kind of Russian helicopter. It's hard to tell because the resolution of the DK2 is a little bit too low to identify stuff at a distance. Looks a bit like an Apache actually from here. Or it could be a hind. Looks like an Apache actually. For the silhouette. No, it's a hind I think. I think that's what they're called anyway. Oh, he's gone. Don't think we can catch up with him in our vintage helicopter. Let's put things on the ground and call this video a day. I just really, I just really wanted to share with you how fantastic the Huey is. So long as you take the uh, the spring out of the X55. If you try this previously, I was flying this with the um, Hotas Warthog, the Thrustmaster joystick, and you know it's just far too stiff. I know you can buy on eBay. You can buy a big stick uh, that obviously because of torque uh, allows you to. Um, or leave leverage allows you to then move it more freely and that probably works really nice actually so if you do have a hotas warthog you could that's always an option i think we've absolutely destroyed our helicopters we, we'll just put it on the ground here that's enough that's enough death for one day if yeah if you've only got if you've got a hotas warthog and you put money in that there are modifications that will probably make it fly in a similar way and you would be better off with foot pedals rather than using the yaw of the joystick but it's absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm really just surprised how much the controls make a difference taking the spring off this. Definitely give it a go. If you do have the helicopter and you do have an X55, take the spring out. Unbelievable. But thanks for watching this video. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Like the channel. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Facebook and all that business. And I'll see you in another video soon.